is time. It is time to brew your best beer. The 2015 SJ Pour Challenge is brought to you by the Grain Bill Homebrew Supply, located in Red Lion, Pennsylvania. Brewers Exchange, operating in the U.S. and Canada. Finney's Homebrew Emporium, located in Bishopdale, Christchurch, New Zealand. And Omega Yeast, located in Chicago, Illinois. Howdy folks, S.J. Poor here from Little Face Brewing, back with another one, another beer review. The 2015 S.J. Poor Challenge, beer stuff, drinking beer, beer, homemade beer from other people from everywhere. Not from everywhere. <laughs> uh, and I'm sitting next to me thinking I'm nuts. Actually, she's sitting next to me knowing I'm nuts. Anyway, so where was I? Talking about homemade beer. Talking about homemade beer. Time for another beer review. This one is Wicked Pasaya. BD7043592. Did I say that wrong? Pasaya? Don't know. Yeah, let's see an eye in front of the H. It looks like... This is a... It's a wicked pissa. It's a wicked pissa. <laughs> it's a pissa. That's it from the New England. It's a pissa. <sighs> I don't know. I don't know. It is a goose or goes, depending on how you say it. I'll call it a goose. Brewed with clams and seaweed sourced from Rhode Island's East Bay. This is a goose or goes or However you want to say it, a little bit of a hiss there. Let's get the pour. Because I am SJ pour. Ah, you get it? There. You get it? Mary, did you get it? It was freaking hilarious. I'm telling you, it was freaking hilarious. Wow. Now I've been used to all of those. Uh, we had a good bit of porters, a good bit of stouts. We had a, a wheat beer, and we had um, a um, like a Marzan, but it wasn't a Marzan. Oh, yeah. What what the hell? I don't have the list with me. Anyways, another kind. So <laughs> I know, I know. So now we have a goose or a goes. I just uh, we'll call it a goes because if I if I keep calling it a goose, people are going to expect a fowl walk into the yeah fowl. That would be a the, a goose would be a fowl, a waterfowl. It's been a long week and I've got a vacation coming up and and I need it. All right, let's get the nose on it. It's a beautiful looking beer. I mean, it, God, God, holy. Shazam! It is, it is a beauty of a beer. Wow, it has a very sweet nose to it. Um, what is that? Because I know it's clams and seaweed, but is that seaweed? I mean, check the nose out on this. You can't. You have to take it right now because my battery will die. Ugh. Right now. Is it ready? Hmm. Nose on that is interesting. It's, it's, it's sweet, but there it's something I'm, I can't put my I can't put my finger on it. But I just did. Nah. All right, in she goes. Oh, wow. Oh, that is so cool.
the seaweed or the clams, I'm going to just call it the sea flavor of that. you got to give that a try. Uh, almost gives it a, and this is going to be wrong uh, way of putting it, but it almost makes it seem flat. <laughs> and then was not expecting that at all, was she? <laughs> now, a goose, I would expect to be a bit more tart. It doesn't have, uh, because it's almost on the long lines of a sour. But the sour is not quite, the sour is not there. So I would like that to be a little more on the tart side. I'll, I'll take it back. <laughs> She's sitting over there holding on to it. The nose, that, that sweetness. Uh -huh. <clears throat> Are you reading up on the style? I am. Oh, I am. And but I style. Can't, I can't. Can you, I? Yeah, you can say what it is. That's it, right there. It's a top fermented beer that originated in Gosler, Germany. It's brewed with at least 50% of the grain bill being malted wheat, so that's your malt front. Dominant flavors in a goes include a lemon tartness, an herbal characteristic, and a strong saltiness. Wow. Goes beers typically do not have prominent hot bitterness flavors or aromas. Because of the use of coriander and salt, goes does not Coriander. I got the coriander in there. Yeah, I was I was gonna say uh That's, that's, I got the salt. It's kind of like a, it, it, it's, it reminds me along the lines of a Saison without quite as much spice. Just the flavor, you know, going in a different direction. I can definitely wow. taste the saltiness. Oh yeah, the saltiness is, is definitely in there. I'd say you, well, he's pretty much dead on for style then, mm -hmm. for the most part. All right, I'm going to actually put this down, shut the video off. I've clowned around enough. I want to take my time on this. I have actually printed out like I have with all of them. I want to sit down and fill this out and uh, give it its proper due. And I'll be right back. Alrighty, I am back. You got the last little bit in there. I have thoroughly enjoyed this beer. Um, uh, after reading up on the style, because I'm not very familiar with it, actually M.M. read the style off to me, this beer is, is really close to the, the, to the style that it was set out for. Well done on, 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 on that. I mean, it's, it's always tough, really, to, to brew the style, but what makes it even tougher is within our challenge, you know, what the idea was, you know, brew, brew local for the world. Um, yeah, you, you've hit the spirit of the challenge by brewing local for the world using seaweed, the sea, um, clams from your area. Would have never thought of putting those into a beer. However, reading the style, it fits. The only critique I have on this, um, would be... Uh, personally, I would have liked it to be a bit more tartar, and um, carbonation. The carbonation seems to be a bit low. I mean, you can work it up. I think if the carbonation was there, it might have actually allowed some more of of the flavors to dance about in your in your mouth. It might actually help some of that tartness come through. So, uh, cheers to you for a brew well done. Mm. Yeah, hmm. I'm digging this. I dig saisons, um, so you know I would I would naturally dig this. Um, yeah, just a touch more tartness and and but dude, I tell you what, I could sit out on the back deck with one of these all summer long. You know, drinking these every night. Very nice, very well done. Cheers to you, sir. This is S.J. Poor from Little Face Brewing, enjoying the fruits of your labor. Cheers.
to the last drop.